Hello students, in this video what I will do is I will go over the um, problems that are uh, embedded in U1A05B V2. Uh, these problems consist of um, questions involving complementary, supplementary, explementary, and vertical angles. However, these questions are um, more on the challenging side compared to um, the other PDF uh, that's in the that's in the Google Drive here. Um, these problems, you're, uh, if you attempt it, you're going to find that they will require you to know um, how to factor, how to FOIL, how to um, uh, solve quadratic equations, which are all concepts um, that you should um, have in you, um, just because uh, those are core concepts that were taught in Algebra 1. So let's take a look at this. So question one here, it says, it says to show that A is equal to 60 degrees and that B is equal to 120 degrees. Um, so in order for us to show this, well, we need to find out um, what X is. And if we can find out what X is, then we can find out what A and B are. Because if, we, if you notice right now, um, if you notice, angle A are, is vertical angle to 5X plus 10. And if you notice angle B, it is a vertical angle to x squared plus 2x. So if we can find out what those are, we can find out um, what a and b is, and then we can find out uh, what all the other values are, right? So let's go do that. So if I look at this, okay, and I notice that x squared plus 2x and 5x plus 10, they happen to be linear pairs. So if that's really the case, then that means those two angles are going to be supplementary, right? So I want to do my little scratch work over here. I know that x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 10 must equal to 180. So therefore, I know that x squared plus uh, 7x plus 10 is equal to 180. And recognizing that this is a quadratic equation, I need to bring everything over to one side in order for me to solve for x, okay, either by using the quadratic formula or by factoring. So this is x squared plus 7x minus 170 is equal to 0, okay? So I have this right now. So um, in order for me to go through uh, figuring this out, I need to come up with two numbers that multiply to 170 but then add up to, or negative 170 rather, but add up to positive 7. The two numbers that immediately jumped to my mind, because, you know, 170, it's a factor of 10 times 17, and just so happens that 10 and 17 have a difference of 7, that would make sense, that it would factor into x plus 17 and x minus 10. How do I know that it's x plus 17 and not x minus 17? Well, that's because the positive number must outpower the negative number in order for the middle number to be positive. So in this case here, x will equal to negative 17 uh, or positive 10. All right, so if that's the case, uh, a then, right, if let's say if x was... Well, let's, let's think about this. If A was indeed negative 17, okay, and if I pop this in here, 5 times negative 17, that would give me negative 85, and, that w and if I add 10 to that, that would give me a negative angle, and that's not good, okay? I, ca I cannot have a negative angle in this case just because all the angles physically are excuse me, all the angles physically are positive. So therefore, angle, so therefore x must only be 10. x must only equal 10. And if x equals to 10, well, that means this angle over here must equal to 5 times 10 plus 10, which is 60. And therefore, a will equal to 60. And if a is equal to 60, and if I pop in 10 into the other side over here, okay, I will recognize that's 120. So therefore, B must equal to 120. So yes, we've achieved showing that both angles A and B must equal to 100 and uh, must equal to 60 and 120. Let's take a look at the next one. Question number two. So it says here to show that M is equal to 150 degrees. So again, really, really similar. I have 7x minus 5 and x squared plus x. They are vertical angles. So therefore, I know that x squared plus x will equal to 7x minus 5. Recognizing that, again, this is a quadratic equation, I'm going to bring everything over to one side. I have x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. 
Also recognizing that there are two numbers that multiply to positive 5 and add to negative 6. They happen to be x minus 5 and x minus 1. So therefore, x will equal to either 5 or 1. All right. So in this case then, okay, I want to show that m is equal to 150 degrees. Well, in order for, for that to happen, in order for that to happen, x must therefore be 5 only. Because if x was 1, I'll end up with this angle equaling to 2. And since this angle, 7x minus 5 and m are supplementary, m, okay, cannot be 150 if the other angle that's, you know, forming that linear pair is only, has only a measure of 2. So if x has to equal to 5. If x, if x does equal to 5, then that means I'll end up with this angle over here equaling to 30 degrees, because 7 times 5 minus 5 is 30. Therefore, m must equal to 150, because m and 30 must be supplementary. So therefore, m must equal to 150. All right, moving on. Show that m is equal to 99 degrees. Okay. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, I know, again, that these two angles here must add up to how much again? That's right, it must add up to 90 degrees. These two angles are supplementary. So if I say x squared plus x is equal to 90, that would be super appropriate. Subtract over 90, I will have x squared plus x minus 90 is equal to 0. Two numbers that multiply to negative 90 but then add to positive 1, what would that be? That would be 10 and 9. x plus 10 times x minus 9 is equal to 0. What would x have to equal to? x must equal to negative 10 or positive 9. I cannot have a negative angle, so therefore x must equal to only positive 9. So if this is 9, x squared must be 81, and that makes total sense. And if x is and if that's 81, and these two okay, are supplementary because they are a linear pair, m must equal to 99 as a result. Okay? Let's move on to the next one. Really similar in concept, I have 5x plus 60, okay, and 1 half x squared. These are explementary angles. So therefore I have 1 half x squared plus 5x plus 60 is equal to 360. If I subtract over everything, I will end up with 1 half x squared plus 5x minus 300 is equal to 0. I want to multiply both sides of the equation by 2, so I'll end up with x squared plus 10x minus 600 is equal to 0. So now it's a matter of me figuring out what two numbers multiply to negative 600 while all at the same time adds up to positive 10. And what is the verdict on this? Uh, well, that's just 20 and 30, right? 20 times 30 gives me 600, but the difference is 10. So it's x plus 30 and x minus 20. So therefore, x is equal to positive 20. Again, recognizing that I cannot have a negative angle because all these angles are physically positive, so x is equal to 20. So if x is equal to 20... And it says here to show that the major arc uh, measures 200. So if x is 20, okay, that means this guy right here must be 160. And if this is 160, that means this guy right here, uh, this inside here, this major arc must be 200. All right, moving on. Question number five. It says show that angle B is equal to 120 degrees. So angle B is 120 degrees. Well, uh, show that angle B is 120 degrees. Oh, here we go. I was looking for the information. I was bl blindsided by my own problem here. All right, so angle B, we need to show that angle B is equal to 120 degrees. So if angle C is equal to 3M minus 5, I'm going to label this. This is 3M minus 5. And angle D is equal to 4M minus 20. So that means these two angles are going to be equal to one another because they are vertical angles. And um, angle A is three times that of angle C. Okay, so for the moment, let's try to figure out what angle, 
what, what m is so that we can then figure out what angle c is. So recognizing that 3m minus 5 is equal to 4m minus 20, I immediately can tell that m will equal to 15. If m equals to 15, that means angle C it will equal to 40 degrees, because 3 times 15 is 45, minus 5 is 40. If angle C is equal to 40 degrees and angle A is 3 times angle C, angle A, therefore, must equal to 120. And if angle A is 120, angle B must also equal to 120. Okay, moving on, really similar in concept, um, so this guy right here, x squared uh, plus 31x is equal to 360, subtract over 360, I end up with x squared plus 31x minus 360 is equal to 0, and I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 360 but add to 31, and the numbers that come to my mind uh, is uh, 9 and 40, right? So if I have x plus 40 times x minus 9, right? 40 times 9 is equal to 360, but positive 40 minus 9 gives me positive 31. I will have x is equal to 9 or negative 40. And recognizing that we cannot have a negative angle in this case, x must only equal to 9. Okay? So therefore, what will the measure of the major arc be? So if this is 81, okay, this must be 279 because 9 times 31 is 279. Let's look at this guy. Very similar to the problems from before. I have x squared, so these are linear pairs. I know that x squared minus 4x plus x is equal to 180. Simplify this down, I get x squared minus 3x minus 180 is equal to 0. So therefore, I will end up with uh, two numbers that multiply to negative 180, but then add to negative 3. What will that be? Um, that would be uh, what would that be? Six and three, right? So uh, six times three is eighteen. Um, so two numbers I multiply to negative one eighty, but then add to negative three. So I am kind of stuck here. So uh, what would that be? 9, no, 6 times 3 is um, 6 and 3 gives me this. Um, I am a little stuck here. So actually, what two numbers multiply to ne uh, negative 180 but then add to negative 3? Oh, uh, 15 and 12. Yes, yes, yes. OK. So this is going to be x minus 15, x plus 12. 15 times 12 is 180. Yes. Okay, so x is equal to 15 or negative 12, but being that, again, it's positive angles, x can only be 15. And if this is 15, that means this must be 165 here. All right. Okay, so the next one, uh, complementary angles, yes, indeed. So we have 2x squared minus x plus 4x minus 1 is equal to 90. And if I go and combine like terms, I will end up with 2x squared plus 3x uh, and minus 91. All right. And uh, I need to come up with a setup where this will all equal to 0 here. So this has to be 2x and this has to be x. Um, 
what number multiplies to 91? Uh, so that would be, oh boy, what multiplies to 91? What multiplies to 91? Oh, I'm sorry. This right here is 91. So if that's 91, it should be 92. My multiplies to negative 92. So what two numbers multiply to negative 92? Um, uh, it would have to be something close together for 92. So that would be, let's see here. 92 is divisible by 2, right? So that would be 41 and 2. No, no, not 41 and a 2. What am I saying? That would be, um, that would be 46 and 2, right? 46 and 2, but that's not good because I need the numbers to be relatively close to one another. So that would be um, 23 and 4. And um, would that work? 23 and 4. So if I say this is 23 here and this is 4 there, will that give me the number in the middle that I want, which is 3? Uh, looks like no deal. Um, looks like not good. I want 90 I want 91. Oh, I made I made an error and I didn't even realize this. That does not equal to 91. What am I saying? This equals to 91. And if all three angles, okay, add up to 180, right? Then that means this angle over here, okay, must add up to, must equal to um, 89. Oh, I was fooled by my own problem. <laughs> so this is actually 2x squared plus 3x. And if I subtract both sides by 89, I get minus 90 is equal to 0. Okay, so that. So that leaves me with this being 2x, and this is x. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 90. But then uh, in the middle there, has to add up to 3. So I'm looking for two numbers that are re uh, relatively close to one another. Um, so I know that 9 and 10 gives me 90. right? I know that 9 and 10 gives me 90, but I want the middle number to be 3. So it could be 9 and 10, it could be 18 and 5, um, it could be, uh, it could be 30 and 3, uh, it could be, um, but I want the middle number to be 3. So 9 and 10, 10 and 9. 5 and 18, 18 and 5. Oh, boy, what is this? Um, 3 and 30, 30 and 3, nope, nope. Um, 9 and 10. 9 and 10 would not work. 9 and 10 would not work. Uh, which leaves me with the possibility of 5 and 18. That is not good either. Hmm. What would make sense? So 10 and 9... Is that factorable? 10 and 9. That will not give me 3 in the middle, though. Two x squared minus x plus four x minus one is equal to 89. Yes, it does equal to 89. Subtract both sides by nine, uh, 89, I get 90. 45 and 2. That's going too far now, 245 and 2. 
Um, hmm. 15 and 6. Yeah, so I can't believe that took me that long to figure it out. It's 15 and 6. So if I have 15 here and 6 here, then that would work. Where this is plus and this is minus. So x is equal to 6, in other words. And if x is equal to 6, so that means I will end up with uh, it says show that the two acute angles are 66 and 23. So uh, one of the angle is 4x minus 1, right? So 4 times 6 minus 1 is equal to 23. And the other one must equal to 66 because they have to add up to uh, 89. So yes. Alrighty, that took a little too long. My apologies for that. I wasn't thinking straight. All right, we need to show that ABCD, find the sum of ABCD, right? So if I, if I count this up, this is a straight line here. This is a straight line. So if that is a straight line, okay, it's a semicircle. If I add all this stuff up, how many A's and how many B's and how many uh, C's do I have? I notice I have one, a, one C, two C, three C. I have one A, two A, three A. I have one B, two B, three B. And I have 2B, 2D and 3D. So I have 3A plus 3B plus 3C plus 3D. And this all has to add up to 180. So therefore, A plus B plus C plus D must equal to how much? Oh, it must equal to 60. Because if I divide both sides by 180, if I divide both sides by 3, I will end up with 60 degrees. We're almost there, last one. All right, so how can we do this? I know that a squared, uh, it says to find out what a, x, and y are. So looking at this, okay, I immediately see that I have um, 49, 50, and y squared. 49 plus 50 plus y squared, that must equal to 180, because that's a straight line there. So if I do this, this is actually going to give me y squared uh, is equal to, if I add 49 and 50, I will end up with 99, right? So therefore, y squared is equal to 81. So therefore, y is equal to uh, 9, right? So y is equal to 9. And then uh, if y is equal to 9 and y squared is equal to 81, this guy here is 81. So that means uh, x squared plus um, x squared plus 81 plus 50 must also equal to 180. So 81 plus 50, that is uh, 131 plus 131 is equal to 180. Subtract both sides by 131, I end up with x squared is equal to 49. Or x is equal to 7. And then last but not least, I need to find out what a squared is. So if that's 49, and I know that uh, a squared plus 49 is equal to 180. I know that a squared is equal to 1, uh, what is that, 180 minus 49, that's 151. No, 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 that's 131, right? So what will a equal to as a result of this? Um, a will equal to square root of 131 then. And that's it.